Hey, everybody, what's going on? Peace and love. It's your favorite girl, Isis. Love you guys. I hope everybody is having a fantastic day. I'm about to take this Bluetooth off. But I hope everybody's having a fantastic day. I'm just outside in nature right now, you guys, just connecting. I got my feet in the ground, you know, uh, really just soaking in this prana, just soaking in this energy, soaking in this air. You know, just getting back from uh, travels to Jamaica. So I felt the need by spirit to just come out to the uh, to the park and just balance myself out from all of the uh, the traveling. And so uh, I want to share something with you guys. What's going on, Vince? Peace. What's going on? What's going on? Peace. Um, first off, let me know where you are watching this from. Go ahead. Come on in here. We're going to be talking about something really amazing today. And something that I, I should start sharing more often um you know with my community with you guys so if you're just coming in really quick let me know what state let me know what country what dimension what universe you are watching this this broadcast on you know let me know what your frequency is and if you're getting on share this video because somebody's going to need to hear this message and you are going to make their day because the moment you share this video, what I'm going to be talking about today is going to help so many people. And this is going to trickle back into your life, right? So what we're going to be speaking about today, you guys, is uh, chakras. Um, we're going to be speaking about chakras and how your chakras may be blocked. And if they're blocked, that could be why you're experiencing certain crises or certain, you know, issues um, within your life, you guys. So I'm super excited. Um, I'm just adding some people. Let's go ahead and get in. Hey, what's going on? Peace, peace. So let's go ahead and dive into it. So your chakras, right, are energy centers in your body, right, in your pseudo body, right? And so what does that mean? That means that these chakras that are aligned right down the middle of your body, they are attached to your organs, and they're also attached to certain emotions that run in your body, right? So it's so very important that we know how our ch chakras work, you guys. And so they, the energy, when your chakras are free and they flow, the energy just comes down, right? And it cycles through you with grace and ease. So normally when your chakras are in alignment, right, in alignment with the divine flow, you're feeling very joyful, um, you're experiencing and manifesting things in your life at will, um, you feel good, you feel healthy, and if your chakras are not in alignment, you're normally probably experiencing um, lack in your mindset, you're probably having money problems, you're probably not feeling confident, your health might not be up to par so much, and that happens when the chakras or not in alignment you guys um so i'm not going to really go too too deep on each chakra the chakra we're going to focus on today is the root chakra and it's um located in the base of your spine right it's located in the base of your spine and uh what this does is this connects you it connects you to this earth it connects you to your ancestors i don't think people realize how important it is to connect with one's ancestors, right? And what, what do I mean when I say connect with your ancestors? I mean connecting with the people that have came before you on this planet. The people that have experienced certain things to get you here where you are right now. We have to pay homage for that. And so those ancestors, they run in our bloodline. They're, they're, they're like this tree. You see this tree in the, in, in, in the background, right? This tree has root systems that reach out to all the other trees here. They're all connected, right? But if this tree's roots wasn't connected to the ground right, it wouldn't be stable, right? It would be about to fall. So it's very, very important that as people, we connect with our roots, right? We connect with our roots. We get grounded and rooted in this in, in nature and in our family so that we are in alignment, you guys. What's, what I notice on my trip to Jamaica and just speaking, I speak to about 50 to 100 people every day on social media, whether it be Facebook, text message, Instagram, you name it. And what I notice is, yes, the money app can bring people money. Like I can show people how to grow their money. But if their mindset and their mental and their genetics 
is still running the old programs of lack, I cannot help them. The only way I can help the people is by showing them how to align their chakras, right? Getting those energy centers together, you guys. So um, really quick, I want to give you a little helpful uh, chant that you can do to make sure that your root chakra and can everybody hear me really quick let me make sure because i turned off my bluetooth let me see can everybody hear me can y'all hear me can y'all hear me let me make sure y'all can hear me i want to know but um but yeah so some of you guys are probably like okay what is isis talking about you know what i mean i mean she was talking about the money and investing now she's talking about this you guys you cannot be rich and wealthy and not have the mindset and not have the spirit for it so what i'm showing you today is how you merge spirituality and finances and wealth and abundance together because there's no separate right as i always tell you guys like it is our birthright to live a lavish life it's our birthright to live in abundance it's our birthright to take private jets to different places it's our birthright to wake up and travel where we want to right it is our birthright so one of the things that I do, guys, and I'm, like I said, I'm out here right now, is I chant. And I chant to you sound and vibration, right? To you, When you use sound and vibration to wake up your chakras, that's the quickest way to make sure that the channels are clear, right? And then when you're doing it outside in nature and you're doing it outside and the sun is beaming down on you, it just keeps you in the flow, you guys. So normally what you would do, right, is you'll get in a real, and you don't have, if you cannot make it to nature, it's cool. You can do this at the house when you wake up in the morning before you go to sleep. But I want to get out of nature so I can really get my visualization on, guys. So you're going to get in a real nice, comfortable spot, right? Real nice, comfortable spot. And remember, we're doing this root shot. We're doing this meditation for the root chakra so we can unblock money blockages. A lot of us are going through crisis. We can't bring money in. Money. Let me tell you guys, if $200, I made a post on my page. I said, what have you spent $200 on? If $200 is too much for you, then you need to do this meditation every day so that you can realize that you are unlimited money. You are the money. I have been tapping into my spiritual currency for a while now. Meaning I'm not even really always using physical money to get what I want. I'm just manifesting it with spiritual fire, with spiritual currency. Right? Just on wheel. I don't have to have the green paper money. I took a whole jet to Jamaica and I didn't even have to pay $7,000 for the ticket. I manifested the ticket for $70. So it's not all about green fiat money. It's about you manifesting. It's about your energy. It's about aligning yourself with what you want. It's about raising up your vibration. Raising up your frequency. Tapping into the God consciousness. That's all around us. You just got to tap inside of it. And so me being an entrepreneur, I want to show other entrepreneurs and other business owners how you need to tap more into spirituality to bring the currency into your life. All right, you guys. So you're going to get in a nice meditative uh, spot. A nice meditative. And um, what you want to do is you want to just close your eyes. And I want you to focus on your root chakra. And remember, the root chakra is at the base of your spine. So just close your eyes and imagine the, the base of your tailbone. And you can imagine the color red because that chakra is red, right? And I want you to just close your eyes and just see the red, right? Just see the base of your spine. And then I want you to take your fingers to get your thumb and your pointer finger Put them together. Put them on your knees. Cross leg. Now, if you have problems with being cross leg, put your legs out or you also can sit in a chair. You can lay down. I recommend not really laying down because you'll get so comfortable you may fall asleep. So get in this position. Make sure that your spine is erect, very tall. You're not slouching. You're standing up really tall. 
And what I want you to do is remember, focus on the tailbone. That's the root chakra. And I want you to do this chant. And this is how this chant sounds, okay? The chant is LAM. LAM. It's L-A-M. Remember, sound and frequency can heal. That's why music is healing. So it's LAM. This is how it sounds, you guys, all right? Deep breath in. You're just going to continue to repeat this. Deep breath in. So the whole purpose of it, you guys, is to continue to just be in a trance, be in the zone, putting your focus on that lower chakra because what you're doing is you're breaking up any stagnant energy. What you're doing is you're releasing any fear, any doubt, any negativity, any how am I going to pay my bills? How is my family going to survive? It's getting you out of survival mode. And it's helping you align yourself with what you really want. You're being grounded. You're being rooted to this earth. So after doing this, you could do this for about five minutes. You know, I would start off slow. I can do this for about an hour. But starting off, do it five minutes a day. Right? Five minutes a day. Five minutes a day just focusing on that root chakra. Now, there's two other chakras that also help you get into the flow of being able to receive abundance and a lot of that abundance is dealing with money because remember abundance is not just money abundance is relationships having healthy relationships abundance is being able to have your food in your refrigerator abundance is being able to have good health so abundance does not have to always equate to money but you do want to have prosperity to do anything, you guys. So I wanted today to bring you something different. I know some of you guys have been following my journey for four or five years. And you guys know I'm very, very spiritual. And when I started this journey, I did share more meditation. I shared more about chakras. I shared more about crystals. And so now spirit is telling me that now that I have experienced the spiritual side and I know the spiritual knowledge and I have experienced the financial side, teaching people how to invest their money, teaching people how to grow their money. Now I have to merge the two because that's the only way that people are going to be healed is if they're healed first spiritually, financially, right? So I'm going to be giving you guys more spiritual ways, more ways to get in alignment with God. Right? And you are God. God is inside of you. We just forgot that. Right? So do this meditation, you guys. Come outside if you can. I'm going to go ahead and leave, too. But go outside if you can, you guys, and connect with nature. Like, connect with nature, you guys. I just came up to a random park. Um, I'm going to the store right now. I'm getting me some fruit. You know, drink more water, you guys. Um, and connect with nature. That's what's wrong with a lot of indigenous people. And I'm going to make a whole nother video for that. But a lot of indigenous people, and when I say indigenous people, I mean black people. And I don't call black people black people because we're not black. Like if you look at this shirt, like the color of the skin and, my, and the shirt don't even mix, right? But it's time for all indigenous people to get back to the roots, I paid attention to something, and this is off topic really quick because this is going to be my next video. But I paid attention. You know, I do a lot of traveling all around the world. And I noticed that indigenous people are the only people that do not come together. They're the only people that do not cycle the money back into the community. Right? We don't try to bring each other up. Indigenous people, we just don't do it. I don't understand. I didn't understand what it was. But then what I realized what it was is that we have been taken so far from our roots, from our true roots, from our true ancestors. And we've been colonialized, 
and 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 our mind to believe into something that's not anything to do with what how our ancestors did things right so we got to connect back to the source all indigenous people need to connect back to the source and i don't say this to say that nobody shouldn't do it because everybody should connect with the source and connect with nature but i know for sure all indigenous people aka all uh you know black people need to come back together and get connected with the roots i'm talking about the real roots i'm not talking about and and if this offends you what i'm about to say then maybe you're on the wrong facebook channel but i'm not talking about the jesus roots because we got to look past egypt family indigenous people we were here for eons in eons before Jesus even came on the spot. That's just a name that has been taken from a different story. Our story, right? Our story. Only thing we know about right now is somebody else's story. But we don't know about our story. We've been stripped from our story and we've been given random things to believe, you guys. And so that's the missing key to indigenous people coming back together. Is we got to get back to our roots and get back to our history. And remember that we are the, we're the creators. We are children of the sun. Right? And we got to remember that. And we can't remember that if our chakras are out of whack. Right? And we're too busy in our root chakra. Our root chakra is not balanced. So we're living in a fear type of mentality. We're living in a men, we're living in a fight or fight, survival, I'll kill you type of mentality. We're living in a mentality where we blame everything outside of ourselves. It's the white man's fault. It's nobody's fault. We just got to come together. That's all that is, family. So that's another video for another day. I just got really, really passionate about that, you guys. But I hope... And I don't even hope. I know this meditation that I shared with you guys is going to be amazing. Go ahead. I see it's a lot of ladies on here. Let me know, ladies, what area you are in. What state are you in? What country you are in? Even the fellas. Like, let me know because I am on a international yearly tour. And I'm just, basically, I'm going around like Jesus. Right? And I'm spreading the world of the Gospels. And the world of the Gospels is financial independence sovereignty creating our own stuff why we got to depend on somebody else we can create our own system you guys so i'm spreading the world of the gospels I'm letting everybody know how they can make money from their cell phone by using a free cell phone app but i'm also getting people's mind right because when i speak about this app it goes over a lot of people's mind because the mindset is not right right the mindset is not right the mind is not even right to even conceive something about what I talk about when I talk about the money app and how you can download a free app and literally grow your money. Some people don't even understand it. They don't even think it's true because their mind not there yet. You get what I'm saying? They, their mind's not there. But, you guys, I'm feeling the energy today. I can meet you in New York. Oh, D.C., D.C. Yeah, New York has definitely been on the radar. I'm actually planning for New York in July. The end time of July. So definitely let me know. Um, the Carolina. I'll be going to Carolina this month. So you guys, I'm going all over. Spreading the, the, the word. Right? I'm walking in my true purpose. And I, and I encourage you all to walk in your purpose. And walk in your purpose so damn confident that you change lives and you inspire people. Alright, guys? So I love you. I love you. I love you. Just take that meditation seriously. Start unblocking your shockers, all right, you guys? Peace.